The following video may contain content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Get on with the... Hi, Dave. How do you like our new look? As you would say, Miss M. Wow! wow. Spectacular! Hey, Dave. How about we get things started? Everybody's waiting, Dave. Thanks for reminding me. As I was saying, let's get on with the LT parodies. <laughs> Hey, what happened? Who tilted the floor? I feel like I'm about to slide. Grab a hold of something. I'm starting to slide too. God damn it, Wedra. First we tilt, then we slip into the pool. Who tilted the floor? I don't know, but this isn't the time for a pool party. I agree, Mary. Later, after Sam, Mike, Mary and Anna climbed out of the basement pool and took showers, and the gang fixed the floor. The picture is upside down. And so are we. Upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out. And round and round. Diana Ross, 1980. Oof. Have you all gone bats? Lucky you broke my fall, Sam. Someone must have turned our studio upside down. Relax, Dave. Maya and I can fix it. Later, after Kitty, Natalie, Nadine and Colleen climbed out of the basement pool and took showers, and Maya and Cortana got the studio right side up again. Did you just feel a chill in the air? Should it be this cold in here? Somebody turn up the heat. Yeah, before we all turn into icicles. Hang on. Now it's getting hot. First ice, now fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Jimi Hendrix, 1967. How hot is it in here? Let me check. Holy heat miser. The thermostat reads 212 degrees. Oops. I tried to set it to the right temperature, but my fingers were almost frozen. I'll use an oven mitt so my fingers won't get burned. Later, after Caitlin reset the thermostat to the correct temperature. Where did the color go? Whoa! Did we just go back in time? The color just vanished. Ah, uh, here's the trouble. I'll just flip the switch like so. God damn it, Wegra. I need a shower. Just like in LT Bloopers 214. I found where the fuse box is. Let's see if we can fix it. Miss M took a shower, then as she, Jenny, Terry and Clarence started to fix the fuse. What happened? Where's the pool? We hit a cushion, bounced off of it, and landed on our feet. Someone drained the pool and put a cushion on it. We'd better tell Dave about this. At least we brought the color back. Later, after Miss M, Jenny, Terry and Clarence emerged from the basement, and the rest of the gang fixed the fuse box. What's happening? We're being shown in a negative image. The colors have been inverted. You know, I think we look kind of cool. I don't think it's cool. 
Neither do I. Let's fix it! Later, after Timothy, Gideon and Miguel restored the color system to normal. Yo! Yo! Uh oh. The shield hit Scotty on his foot again. And it also got Guy on his foot. When they hop around like that, they look like Mick Jagger on a bad night. Mick Jagger on a bad night? We'd better call the in-studio clinic. Relax, Rudolph. I know just what to do. After Mrs. JD healed Scotty and Guy's foot injuries. Ha! That's one time I stopped the letters from knocking me down. Lucky you, Dave. May I have the letters back now? You certainly may, Shield. After Dave put the letters back on the shield. <coughs> Judas H. Priest. The shield and rings have fallen apart. The pitfalls of cheap, unorganized labor. I guess we'll have to fix the rings. And we'll need to decrease the shield. Later, after Harry, Duty, Freddy and Brutus replaced the rings and degreased the shield. Nikes, the shield blew up again. Relax, Dave. At least we bounced off the cushion this time. After Dave, Rhonda, Astro, Wanda, DJ, and Rita emerged from the basement. Alright, seriously. What the actual fudge is going on here? I'm not sure, Cedric. The whole Looney Tunes are in a massive mess. We just encountered all the blooper shenanigans in the entire parodies. And those shenanigans made everyone here in the studio fall through to the basement. Not to mention Scotty and Guy getting their feet injured. It's like the whole blooper chaos repeats itself. Seriously? Another deja vu? It's deja vu all over again and again! Before you ask anything, Dave, we have done these shenanigans before. I get the picture, Astro. It is similar to the ones we encounter in LT Parodies 239. If the parodies keep on making a big mess, the Louis Tunes intro will be out of order. Oh, Sinker. The Looney Tunes intro has been ruined. Dad, I spoke too soon. Are there any rings where the WB shield would zoom in? Why not change the orange rings? It's very authentic for a Looney Tunes intro parody. But still, it is usable. Good idea, Tootie. I hope it works. But anyway, we think we know who messed the whole LT parodies up. And even worse, look out the window. Something is happening in the sky. The sky is getting darker and darker. How could this happen? It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Actually, based on our weather forecast, there are no severe storms that will strike in New Rafuka, and today's weather is fair and sunny. Dark clouds are spreading all over New Raffle City. And not a single clue about its origin. It is even worse than the previous weather during our encounter with Magmarina Ash. We think we know who messed the whole Looney Tunes parodies up. We also know who made everyone fall through to the basement floor. I think we know who it is. So do I. Me too. That's right. It's the Prince of Darkness and King Dice. Ah, oh. I should have known those two remaining infernal creeps were the ones responsible for this blooper mischief. But why? Why are they doing this to us? What we all know is that Satan and King Dice are absolutely furious at us for sabotaging their most devious plans and destroying all the wicked beings of the evil forces. They even changed the weather to show that the end of the world is near. 
So in all out retaliation, they made the entire Looney Tunes intro parodies a big clutter. What is happening here? Well, General Corigliano, the Looney Tunes intro parodies have gone haywire again, and we suspect that King Dice and the Prince of Darkness were responsible for the mishaps. Speaking of which, the army of underworld monsters are on the rampage across the whole world. But you don't need to worry. The special forces and the world guardians will take those wicked creatures down. That's good to know, General. I knew we can count on our fellow troublemaker exterminators in all TDS universes. Agreed, Mrs. J.D. Sergeant C.J. Randolph and Officer Franklin D. Flanagan will help us out too. We're charging up our weapons to handle whatever evil horde that threatens you. We get so tired of those infernal imps causing a lot of trouble for all of you, and we're helping you on your true final mission. It is indeed a very chaotic battle, but we must work together as one. I can help you on your final mission too, Dave Madsen and company. I brought a group of pastors, nuns, priests, and bishops with me for a very massive prayer rally. Perfect timing, Reverend. A powerful prayer can help defeat the most evil menace. Good day to everyone. everyone. We just made a promise that we, the Heavenly Logos, will help you defeat the Prince of Darkness. I can tell you Heavenly Logos merge together into Logolosis before the final battle starts. That's right, Timothy. We merged ourselves into Logolosis for the preparation of the most chaotic battle. When we heard the Prince of Darkness's war declaration, we told the citizens of Logoland to evacuate for the safety of all TV and movie logos in the world. As we prepared for the abysmal crisis, we sent out the army of gigantic Pixar limbs to take care of those wicked monstrosities. Cool! I just love it when the Pixar lamp bounces and smashes wicked monsters. Not only that, we also brought our own armies. The Green Pea Head Pack. The Bumblebee Head Swarm. And the Dollar S Head Troopers. Those scary logos are a thing of the past, and now we can do the same thing to the Prince of Darkness and King Dice. It is literally a gamble of fate. I agree. If we can work together as a team, we can show our true courage and show those two wicked masters that there is still hope in our hearts. Well said, Torch Lady. Where's the head split? I forgot to mention that Split is part of Logo Bosses, although given in plain sight which means he's not seen in Logo Bosses. Oh, I see. God Almighty and the Heavenly Forces will arrive in a moment. The time has finally come, Dave Madison and company. The greatest battle in the universe is about to begin. Wherever trouble is lurking. Where evil may hide. There's nothing to fear. With us on your side. The Prince of Darkness and King Dice are the most formidable adversaries of the underworld. And they're the last wicked enemy standing. They feed off of fear. So you must be brave. From the Demon Overlord and the Gambling King, tis you we shall save. We heard that the abysmal crisis is about to take effect. Do not despair. We'll help you destroy those two demonic bosses and clear the miasma in the air. All of you, All should, of not you should not worry, Dave Madsen and, and company. The, the heavenly, heavenly forces and the Unovian Pantheon will protect you from that demonic ogre and that greedy gambling lord and bring back peace to the whole world. You heard what my mother said, super friends. The special forces and the inter-universe guardians will help you out as well to stop this apocalyptic tragedy. As always, Master, everyone around the world can count on the mightiest superheroes in the universe. And as promised, we won't let all of you down. Harry, my boy, we heard that the most chaotic phenomenon is about to take effect. So, your dad and I are here to help you and you need to defeat the final boss. Mom. Dad. You came. Thanks for the backup, Mr. and Mrs. Donaldson. Istrea and Genesee, the Prince of Darkness is the toughest opponent you will ever face, and you must not be so afraid on encountering him. Your pink star powers have been fully upgraded and you must unleash its most incredible power. We'll try our best, Mother and Madonna. As Sailor Scouts, we can do anything to take those troublemakers down, especially the last wicked monster standing. Hey, my grandson, you have to make sure that the Omega Factor is still intact with you. When it reaches its full capacity, you have to unveil its true power. Okay, Grandpa. I won't let my Omega Factor be taken by those two wicked bosses.
Speaking of bosses, they're just about to arrive in the studio. Well, everyone, here he is, the gambling king himself. Let's place our bets instead of showing any fear, guys. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Your superheroes actually pulled it off. Well, well, well. We finally meet again, King Dice. I knew you would come to us. You are dependable as always, Cedric Nuss. Okay, seriously, King Dice. We're not going to ask you a question because we all know that you messed up the Looney Tunes intro and made everyone fall through to the basement just to screw us up. My oh my. I never knew you troublemaker slayers were so smart and wise. But yes, it is true. I messed up the whole Looney Tunes intro parodies and just screwed all of you up so freaking bad. Isn't it fun or what? It's fun for you, but it's not fun for all of us. We really hate having fun with troublemakers, but we really love making fun of them. Ugh. You stinky rats made me lose a single bet. But in all seriousness, you all have witnessed the dawn most chaotic phenomenon in the universe. All of the demonic monstrosities will ascend from the underworld and they will attack in your world. So, are you ready for your toughest challenge yet? We're more than ready, gambling lord. We mightiest superheroes will never waste our sweat, blood, and tears in destroying both of you. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the most decisive battle in the universe. This is the final battle between good and evil. In that corner, we have the mightiest superheroes of this universe, Dave Madsen and his strongest super friends. And in this corner, I'll bring you the most formidable opponent you will ever face. He is the king of the underworld and the atrocious perpetrator. The Prince of Darkness himself. Say, 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 say. <laughs> The Prince of Darkness has returned. Save us, G. Don't say it, Abby. The Prince of Darkness will vomit if you say his name. You took the words right out of my mouth, Dave Madsen. Well, well, well. It is the Prince of Darkness himself. The fourth messenger who wanted to be even greater than the Almighty and got banished to the underworld. I knew you would come to us. Jack safety in the squad. I will not forget that most dreadful moment where you defeated me on our last encounter. It really hurts so fucking bad that it almost scarred my whole skin. Well Satan, you can't blame us for your epic loss nor can you prevent us from stopping your demonic schemes. That's right. You truly deserved it for attempting to destroy all of us and force Dave and Rhonda to get a divorce after their wedding. Also, your so-called infernal subordinates are nothing but a bunch of wicked morons who always fail and never win. Why must you be so fucking serious on taking me seriously? Do you really want me to rip my horns and tail off? What else do you expect to do, Demon Overlord? You really don't have much of a choice. You and your most demonic scheme will never ever prevail. Hey, Maxon, I am not through with you just yet. Why the bloody fuck haven't you surrendered to me? Really? Are you scared that Master Satan will burn your flesh in the sea of flames? I am not afraid of anything or anyone like you too. Besides, I said it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, ten times, hundreds of times, thousands, even millions. And I have to say it one final time. You, you do, do, do not, 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 not owe oh, 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 me. me, me. That's telling him, my grandson. That is the most horrible response I have ever heard. Speak for yourself, you infernal ogre. What Dave said about him not being your most nefarious subject is absolutely serious. You're just forcing Dave to admit sins that he didn't even commit so you'd make him into your demonic puppet in your most devastating plot. And you too want to take the Omega Factor away from Dave and make him fall to the evil side. Hold on a fucking minute. All of you know about my most devious plot all this time. This can't be. It is supposed to be secretive. Not anymore, you two masterminds of atrocities. We still remember your most devious plans after we retired from being troublemaker exterminators. All of us troublemaker slayers kept nagging our heads on why you are so obsessed with Dave, and that right there proves our point. We just figured out the most devious conspiracy, 
thanks to Cedric's parents. So, Satan and King Dice, what are you going to do now? Wanna bet? Then come over here and get it. We dare you. You'll end up losing a bet in your own game. Ha 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 ha. What treachery is this? How come those troublemaker exterminators know the world domination plot without me noticing it? What the bloody hell have you fucking done? How could you sabotage our most devious plan in history? How, how, how? Both of you should know already that Dave Madison didn't commit any deadly sins in his lifetime. And you don't have any conclusive proof of guilt against him and his friends. Alright, not you scandalous meddlers again. When will you ever stop messing me up and let me be? We will never stop screwing you around until you two are defeated. You should have accepted the truth and ignored the reconsideration that Dave Madsen didn't perform any malicious actions nor violate any laws. All of your so-called damning to hell evidence of guilt against him are all utter nonsense and totally fabricated. Also, Microsoft Sam had dropped all of his cases against Dave Madsen and his friends after his control freak tendencies were permanently removed. Not only that, what Rhonda Raven, Wanda Eagles, and Microsoft Anna did to the Ash sisters and Rowena Stoker are not counted as a crime, but acts of revenge and justice. Need more proof? The God Almighty accepts everyone's apologies for making terrible mistakes and committing wrongdoings that are not fatal or chaotic. And what God Almighty did to them is not scandalous. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just going to say that it is. Not for long, Satan. You keep on saying that all the actions of God Almighty are scandalous, when in reality you are the most scandalous perpetrator around. You, you heard, heard him, him, you, you demonic, demonic cattle. cattle. Plus, if you think that Dave's response and JCTN Squad's statements are utter bullshit, they are absolutely not. What the bloody fuck? I was about to say it was bullshit. Not anymore, you gambling kinkin. You two are absolutely, definitely, and literally bullshit yourselves. In conclusion, both of you are the most idiotic, most brutal, most dangerous, most scandalous, flattering, meddling, bullshitty, infernal masterminds in the universe. No matter what you say about it, face all the factual facts and truthful truths and deal with it, whether you like it or not. We have spoken. That's enough. All of you, you started to feel my furious rage to the maximum level. Dave Manson and company, you have got the most impossible and even the most unacceptable. You destroyed the Ash sisters and the Stoker sisters and escaped their lustful enticements, Starlight Ember and Electric Shocker and avoiding their unending seduction, Walter Stoker and Carolina Iger and screwing up the abduction while at Mount Kilimanjaro, Evil Sam and the Evil Double Vanguards and seizing their troublemaking shenanigans in the studio, then bring the Ash and Logan who was supposed to be against the Manson family in avenging the Ash sisters' deaths, the chairman of Hades and evading the dreadful judgment of the underworld, and even my most loyal subordinates, Lucifer, and the region of evil, and interfering with their most menacing plans to make all of you suffer. All of you have sabotaged my most devious, most absolute, and most chaotic phenomenal plot I have ever orchestrated in history, and fucked everything up inside without me noticing them. I had fucking enough of this other nonsense. For this, I am going to show you my most absolute demonic power. Feel the wrath of the devil overlord. I am his master. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the Prince of Darkness has awakened his true demonic power. Who oh knows? The Prince of Darkness has gotten stronger and more terrifying than ever before. No 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 Oh. My. 
freaking god. The Prince of Darkness has gotten angrier. You said it, Rana. Is this really what the real demon overlord is that I haven't seen before? That is the most horrifying monster we have ever seen. He is massively humongous as Godzilla. This is something we have never seen throughout the years. Judas Priest. That humongous appearance is exactly what we've seen in our worst nightmares. Oh no. Our worst nightmares are about to come true. We are all done for. We are all going to die. Just as expected. The essence of lust, mischief, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride makes the demon overlord more invincible than he ever was. And if he achieves his victory, the pandemonium will rise from down below. Which my grandson should say that he won't let happen. Yeah. Does he think I'm scared of his most terrifying appearance? I don't think so. Cedric. What happened to you? Why does he still feel confident when all of us are trembling in fear of the demon's wrath? I don't know, Zed. I really don't know. Cedric. Are you okay? I'm always fine, Athena. No, don't do it. I won't let you kill our besties into bloody crisps. Don't you dare make a false move on us. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. If you want to take the entire JCTN squad down, then you have to get me first. Wait, what? Are you freaking insane, Cedric? Oh dear, Cedric will risk his life and manage to end the strife. Don't be rude to him. He knows what he's going to do. Are you sure about this? Cedric will get himself killed. Trust us on this. Will you? Cedric is a sole survivor, and what he's doing will blow your mind. I don't know about that, but we'll try to keep it still. You said you have to focus on you, Cedric must. Well, if that's what you really want, then so be it. Oh no! Cedric, move out of there. Satan is going to destroy you. Pull yourself out, Cedric. I really can't wait for this biggest moment to happen. It's the right time to get absolutely serious. Cedric. What do you think you're doing? You might get yourself killed when you do that. Never fear, squad mates. I know what I am going to do. As the pioneer of troublemaker extermination and the leader of the JCTN squad, I'll show the demon overlord what I'm absolutely made of. Be careful, my darling. Promise to me that you won't leave me. I promise, Athena. I have been waiting for this glorious moment. The time has finally come. <laughs> Ha 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 That is very ticklish. But I'm afraid that it won't be enough to take me down so seriously. Let's see if you can handle this. Die, die, die. Head, head, chin, chin, chin. Whoa! What the heck just happened? The Prince of Darkness zaps Cedric and a bright light covers him. Oh, big zap Cedric with his hellfire and the pillar of light shines brighter. Oh no, don't tell us that Cedric is done for. Please don't, Mrs. JD. No need to worry, Miss Madsen and Jenny. My husband and I feel Cedric's presence in the pillar of light. This means Cedric is still around. And all of you will be shocked when you see his sudden change. Is... Is Cedric going to be okay? I'm not sure, sis. Does this mean that Cedric made that pillar of light just to survive Satan's most powerful attack? Hold on. Could it be? Cedric. Quick Sinatos. That bright light. It's blinding me. You made the most terrible mistake, Satan. I never ever die, and your deadliest and most destructive power will never ever kill me at all. You know how serious I really am, right? But this time, it is going to be different. I am going to show you the absolute ultimate power of a superior dunamis. Satan has summoned up his ultimate power, and Cedric has countered with his ultimate power. Will our heroes defeat the Prince of Darkness, or is everything on the verge of destruction? Find out in Dave Madsen's LT Parodies 250, the grand final parodies, Dave Madsen and Friends Save the World, Part 2.